All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and we just finished training, but I can't quite leave the gym yet. We gotta do another video for you. So we did a dumbbell only uh, bicep workout and tricep workout last week. So today we're gonna do back. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you five dumbbell exercises for back. Now, when we made this video, or when we made these videos, we were thinking more of if you're at home, but by no means or wouldn't be with these be poor workouts if you're in the gym. So if you're in the gym, this, these will still make up a great workout. But I'm gonna show you five exercises. I want you to pick four, and we'll get into the rep schemes and the sets and all that later. So anyways, I thought I was leaving, but it's time to get back to work, just for you. All right, okay, we're gonna start off with a dumbbell row. Now, sometime a year or two ago, I don't even remember when, I started doing these positioned like this as opposed to like this. So I found that was kind of torquing my lower back, but having a good base right here feels really good. And you've got a chair at home so you can do these. So anyways, your first exercise is literally just a dumbbell row right here. So. So Brett's going to go now, and uh, I'm going to talk Brett through the form here. Just give you guys a couple tips. So the first thing I want you to do is think about driving your elbow up, not pulling with your arms, but actually just drawing your elbow up and flexing your lats. So Brett's just drawing his elbow up, flexing his lats instead of curling them with his biceps. I see too many people turn this into a bicep exercise. Now look, his back is neutral, it's flat. I like that too. If you start arching real hard, you still train your lats, but you lose a lot of the lower lat focus and a lot of tension goes up top. We wanna to work our whole lat. He's got a slight bend in his knees. His lower back is protected. Notice he's pulling in toward his leg right here too. If he starts pulling in, come down. If Brett starts pulling up like this, now nah, he's gonna start getting a lot of rear delt, which is fine, but if you're focused on your lats, you wanna be coming here. So there's a here, and then there's here. So if you wanna work rhomboids, rear delts, traps up here, if you wanna work more lat, right here. You could do it either way. Okay, next exercise. This is kinda of like a penley row, like if you ever see people do a barbell row where they, they do a dead stop and they kinda of use a little momentum. We're doing it with a dumbbell. We're not going all the way down but this isn't an isolation movement at all. It's, it's almost like you're gonna do a deadlift, come up and row it. So you're getting a lot of traps, shrugging up like this. You're getting some rhomboids. So see that rhythm there? So it's like a little bit of a deadlift, a little bit of a row, a little bit of a shrug. We'll just call it dumbbell cheat rows. So we'll just call this dumbbell cheat rows. So right here, and come up. Now, the other thing I want you to notice is the row we did, uh, we had a neutral grip for lats. Now our grip is pronated. So now we're gonna get a lot more traps, rhomboids, rear delts across the top, okay? So the grip is important. Make sure you come back and you, and you pronate. Now, I'd wear a belt on this. Um, it looks like a cheat wrap, and it really is a cheat wrap, but we're trying to incorporate a lot of muscle groups. We're not trying to isolate anything, let everything work together. Okay, Brett, you wanna give these a shot? Yep. He's probably better at these than I am. Yeah, we'll see. Good. Brett's even getting a real good stretch too. I wasn't really getting much of a stretch. See how his back is neutral? Now, he could probably not come down Quite, probably keep your chest right there. There. There, you guys see that? So now he's a little more upright. That's just yeah. so we work more right here. There you go, that's what you want. Now look at his, look at his traps working, look at his rear delts working. When he's at the bottom, his rhomboids are working. Watch his bend in his knee. He's got a good bend there. That's absolutely perfect right there. All right, what's up guys? I'm just taking a nap in between sets. While I'm down here, I might as well do a pullover but not just any kind of pullover. Those of you who have uh, watched my channel have seen me do a pullover with dumbbells like this. 
and that's what we're doing. So you're gonna get some dumbbells, you're gonna put them together. And now when I do this, there's something real subtle I'm doing. I'm going like that with my wrist. Now you're not gonna hurt yourself, okay? Don't go, oh my God, you're gonna break my wrist. It's lightweight, I've only got 25s here. So when I'm coming down, see what I'm doing with my wrist? See that? Now the stretch is in my lats. Come up, right here. It's just a little subtle roll in your wrist. So watch this. See that? See that little roll I'm doing as I come down? Real subtle, just a little bit. And also, watch the dumbbells. I'm keeping the dumbbells together. That's so I can keep tension. So watch this. Watch my wrist. See that? And I'm locking it, and I'm pulling with my lats. Right there. Right there. Big stretch. Come up to right above your face. You can do this for chest too, but that's for another video. Now he's got a little bend in his arms and that's good. He's got his little bend in his arms and then his arms are locked. That way he can pull with his lats. Oh my God. You want all this right here to stay in one fixed position so you can pull with your lats. Now watch as he's coming down, watch his lat expand. Now watch it contract. Now it's not just lat, there's a lot of muscles there. They're working with your lats, so. Well, you kinesiologist, you don't need to correct me on that. We understand that. Oh, that's it. Good. That's one of my, that's actually a really cool exercise. I love those. Those are, those are nice. And I think too, that that angle actually protects your shoulder a little bit. I think sometimes when you're like this, you gotta be really careful. You don't overextend and hurt yourself. You can hurt yourself doing that too, if you went too low, but just generally speaking, I, I like that tension. All right, exercise number four is a deficit dumbbell deadlift. Now we've got a plate here we're gonna stand on. You can stand on anything. The deficit is just to give you a little more range of motion. You don't have to do these off a of deficit. You could just do these off the floor regular. But I thought I would show you this deficit just to give you something else to think about. So really we're just doing a dumbbell deadlift. Now when I do a dumbbell deadlift, I come from more from the bodybuilding school. I'm not gripping it and ripping it like I used to do when I was in powerlifting. It's more bodybuilding. So you're gonna see me strict, come up, and then you're gonna see me actually draw my elbows back and flex my lats too. So, so here's what it's gonna look like. Down, then I'm gonna come up and even throw a little bit of a lat pull in there. Now, obviously this is gonna be a lot of legs, hips too. It's not an isolation move. It's meant to work your lats, a little bit of trap, your hips, your legs, your quads, your spinal erectors. So again, we're not trying to isolate. We're trying to get a lot of muscle working at the same time. So Brett, let's see how you do on these. See, he's getting a lot of spinal erector. A little bit more of a row there, right there. Good. Really good overall exercise for your, for your whole body, really. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna finish with shrugs. Now, I typically don't have women do shrugs, but I'll leave that up to the women. I used to have, I used to have really good traps back in the day. I had really good traps. Um, this is the exercise that I think helped my traps the most. I quit training my traps probably 10 years ago, but when I was doing a lot of traps, this is what I really loved. It's a simple dumbbell shrug, but what I like to do is I like to hold it for three seconds at the top. So let me show you. So I'm right here. One, two, three. Stretch. One, two, three. One, two, three. Notice I'm not rolling. I'm not bouncing. I'm holding the weight with my traps. So one, two, three. Just like that. Okay, so let's talk about sets and reps. For volume, like I said, pick out four of those five exercises or do all five if you want. I would say three to four sets of each. Um, the first exercise we did, the dumbbell rows, I would shoot for sets of around eight. The second exercise we did, that was a cheating, that was a cheating dumbbell uh, hybrid exercise. I'd probably keep my reps down a little bit on that one, probably six to eight. You don't, want you, you don't want to do high reps on something like that, heavy, 
because your form will break down and that's an exercise that can hurt you. So if you want to go higher reps, then just make sure your weight's a little lower. Um, that's not an exercise where I would want to go real heavy though. I would want perfect form. So the third exercise was the pullover. You can bump your reps up to about 10 to 12 on that one. That'll feel really good. The fourth exercise was the deficit deadlift. Those, again, I'd bring the reps down. You can uh, hurt your lower back with that if you get fatigued, especially on that, de that deficit. The deficit really, really tests your flexibility. So now when I keep my reps anywhere from four to six even, all the way down four to six, and then on the shrugs, I'd come back up to 10 to 12. 12 is gonna feel like a fire, like a blowtorch in your traps. So somewhere around 10 is what I always like to stay around there. So that's it, dumbbells for back. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you have any other exercises you want to mention below, feel free, and we'll see you next time.